Set the input option to zero for original behavior, where the morphogene records the mix of input and real playback as set by the SOS control and CV. Set to one for new behavior. With this alternate behavior, the morphogene will always record only what is at the input, regardless of the SOS setting. The SOS control still does have an effect on playback. This makes layered overdubs impossible, but opens up some new possibilities. For example, when recording into a new splice, this can be useful, as it will allow you to run the morphogene's outputs through effects and other processing, then back into the input and record the result for variation. With the input option set to 1, the behavior of time lag accumulation is also significantly changed. Instead of accumulating, we now have the buffer replaced at the end of each splice length. Thus it becomes a single repeat microsound capable delay. With longer delay times, this can be used for adding texture to an input signal. Medium delay times allow stutter and beat repeat effects, especially when modulating SOS. With very short delay times, it could be used for functionally immediate pitch shifting and granulation. 